Hi everyone, welcome to the second module of Verilog HDL Crash Course. In this module, we are going to cover lexical tokens used in Verilog HDL. So the meaning of lexical tokens is nothing but meaning of the lexical tokens here is any of the word used in Verilog HDL coding is going to be one of the lexical tokens we are going to discuss in this chapter. So basically, Verilog source text file consists of the following lexical tokens and the first one is white space. So white space is basically used to separate different words and a white space can be a normal space, a tab or a line feed, new line, a, a new line or a form feed. And using white space, we can extend a statement over multiple lines without using any special continuation character. We will see this through our example. So in this example, you see here that there is a white space in the starting of the second line. So in starting of line, if there is any space present in Verilog SDL text file, it will be ignored. If you see in the third line, there is a white space present after earth and before the double quote. So this is not going to be ignored and basically the string is going to store the white space word as well. And now if you see here, we have a statement, a sign statement, which is extended to the two lines. At the end of the lines, we have just put a white space and it will get extended to the next line without using any special continuation character. So white space is useful in statements which, which extends in multiple lines. The second token is comments. So comments are very useful in writing efficient Verilog HDL. If we write proper comments, it will be helpful for the other designers as well to understand our particular design in a better way because we have put all the important logics description using comments in the Verilog HDL text file. So the comments can be specified in two ways in Verilog HDL. The first way is by using the double slash and the second way is by using the slash star and star slash characters. So by using the first way which is double slash we can comment a particular statement. We can only comment a particular statement. We cannot comment multiple statements in with log HDL file. And by using the second approach of commenting we can comment multiple lines in the with log text file. Let's see by an example. So if you see here in the first line assign C equal to A and B and here we have put a comment. So this comment is basically a single statement comment because the assign, assign statement is only in the single line. So this single line statements we can comment by using double slash. But if you see here next, in next we are commenting multiple lines. So here you can see this line, then we have one statement and two statement. So to comment out multiple lines or multiple statements, we have to use the second approach of commenting, which is, which starts from the slash star and ends by star slash. Now let's see the third token. Third token is number. So our very low castell file can contain any number, whether it is a binary, octal, decimal or hexadecimal. So the number value can be specified in any form like binary, octal, decimal or hexadecimal but the storage of that particular number always happens in form of bits. For example, we have a decimal number which is 7. So we can define a decimal number 7 but the, when we are going to store that number, that number will be getting stored using 3 bits. So the examples could be 3 tick B001, this is a binary number, decimal number and here we have an hexadecimal number. So, so the third type of token our very low SDL file can have is a number. The fourth type of token is identifiers. So identifiers are nothing but user defined words for variables 
function names, module names, block name, or instance name. So any name which we define, for example, a variable, I am going to define a variable. So that variable name is nothing but a user defined identifier. And the important point here is the identifier can begin with a letter or an underscore. It can never begin with a number or a dollar sign. And identifiers are always case, case sensitive in very low. So the allowed identifier could be A, B, C, D, my module, my design 5, my design 5, my design dollar. So these are all allowed identifiers, but an identifier can never start with a number or a dollar sign. So hope this is clear. Now the fifth kind of token a Verilog STL file can have is operator. So operators can be one character operator, two character operator or sometimes it is a three character operator as well. And operators are used to perform operations on variables. So the examples could be greater than, plus, minus, negate, and operator, not equal to or equal, equal, equal. So our Verilog test file can have any kind of operator. The Sixth number of Verilog FDL token is nothing but Verilog keywords. So Verilog FDL has some specific keywords which we cannot use as a user. We only can make use of the Verilog keywords but for our user purpose we cannot use them. That means Verilog keywords cannot be used as a identifiers. That is identifier is nothing but a user defined variable or a user defined function or a module. So this is the difference between a user defi defined identifier or a very low keyword. Example could be an assign statement, always, case, while, wire, rates, etc. So these are very low keywords and we can only make use of them. We cannot use them for our user purpose. Now let's understand all of the very low lexical tokens we studied so far through an very low HDL example. So here is a very low HDL code. And here I have tried to differentiate different different lexical tokens. And if you see here, the module, module is a very low keyword. And if you see here, this is a white space here. And my design, my design here is nothing but a identifier. So this is, this can be anything. We can use any name here. So it is a user defined keyword, which is nothing but a identifier. If you see here, this is a single line comment and here we have a double line comment. Now here we can see that this is a Verilog operator. So these are all Verilog operators and this is a number, right? So if I ask you what is this always? So always is also nothing but a Verilog keyword. Positive edge, a Verilog keyword. Cloakai, what is Cloakai? Cloakai is nothing but an input port. So this is nothing but a user defined identifier, Cloakai. What is input, input, input and output? These are nothing but very low keywords. What is range? Range is again a very low keyword. What is case? Case is again a very low keyword. And module and this is also nothing but very low keywords. So whatever word you see in this file is one of the lexical tokens we have discussed so far. So hope this module on Verilog tokens is very much clear. If you have any doubts, please write down in the comment section. Also, please do not forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you would get notified as soon as I upload the next video. Thank you very much.